To replace the camshaft sensors, you will need to remove the front engine cover, red arrow, by pulling it straight up from the front. Next, you will remove the two intake air ducts. Remove the air ducts, yellow arrows, by compressing them in off the air filter cover, then slipping them off of the duct. Please see the link at the end of this video for additional assistance if needed. The four sensors are located at the end of the cam housing on each head, yellow arrow. On the left side bank, you can remove both the intake cam, red arrow, and the exhaust cam sensor, yellow arrow, without removing any other components. Note the oil cooler and power steering reservoir have been removed for photographic purposes only. You do not need to remove them to replace the sensors. The clips on the electrical connections are simple squeeze-in and pull-up connections, but the tabs, red arrows, get very brittle and will probably break when you remove them. If the tab breaks, do not worry. Just make sure the connections are properly seated when reconnecting. A single E8 torque holds the intake and exhaust sensors in place, as indicated by the red arrows. With the bolt removed, you can pull the sensor from the head. With the sensor removed, check that the mounting surface is clean and flat, red arrow, as well as have a look inside the port to make sure there is nothing that will be blocking the magnet from sensing the cam. If you are removing the sensor to perform other work and reinstalling it, always make sure to replace the O-ring to prevent leaking oil, red arrow. On the right cylinder bank, you can see the intake sensor, yellow arrow, and the exhaust sensor, red arrow you will need to move the air switchover valve, green arrow, out of the way of the intake sensor. Using just your hands, release the plastic tab on the back of the switchover valve, red arrow, and slide it off the mount, yellow arrow. You can now remove the intake sensor. The procedure for the sensor removal and replacement is the same. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.